I've got arthritis in my knee and my doctor wants to inject it with a corticosteroid. Is this a good idea and will it help? Now many people ask me this question and corticosteroid does have positive effect in the short term for pain because it gets rid of the inflammation inside of the joint which obviously sensitizes the joint. And obviously this sensitization and pain is going to have negative effects on, on range of movement, on function, on, on strength and all these other elements. So anything that's going to improve that is obviously a good thing. And as a physio, we want to get people active, we want to get them stronger, we want to bring up their load tolerance. And sometimes this can be very challenging when their arthritis pain levels are very severe. Um, and this is where the steroid injection gets utilized quite often. You can't get them any better. They are struggling with the, their exercises, can't make progression. So the injection comes in and brings their pain levels down, brings their inflammation levels down, and lo and behold, they can start to rehab, which is definitely a positive thing. However, we also know that steroid has negative effects on the soft tissues and the bone. So connective tissue is negatively affected. It becomes weakened, uh, becomes more fragile, more likely to tear and damage. And the bone itself actually gets negatively affected. It softens the bone. In fact, if you have a steroid injection in your knee, you can't really have a knee replacement for a little bit of time until that bone re-hardens. So we do know there are some definite side effects, obviously, of this as well. And obviously, it's a weighing up equation. Now, it's also been said that having a corticosteroid injection in your knee may actually increase your chance of needing a total knee replacement. But is this actually true? What does the research on this actually say? So does having a steroid injection in your knee increase the risk of a total knee replacement or not? So we looked at a study here with nearly 4,000 patients with osteoarthritis of the knee, which is a big study of a lot of people. And we looked at it over a nine year period of time, which is again, a nice long period of time, which is really good. They looked at how many people had had a total knee replacement. And they were looking at out of them people, how many had had injections and how many hadn't had injections to try and see if there was an actual correlation between uh, the differences on injection causing it or potentially not. So what did they find? So 796 people had an injection. 249 of them went on to need a total knee replacement, which is 31.3 percent. 3,026 of them didn't have an injection and 152 went on for a total knee replacement from this group, which is 5%. So they found that overall, having a corticosteroid injection increased the absolute risk of needing a total knee replacement by 9.4%. So it does appear that having injections correlates with the more increased need of a total knee replacement. However, correlation isn't causation. Now, you could easily make the argument with the known negative side effects of the corticosteroid injection. We could extrapolate that to being it causes the bone to weaken and therefore problems in the longer term with needing more of a, a total knee replacement. However, you could actually make a counter argument. The counter argument goes as follows. If someone has got arthritis and their rehab is going well, and they're, they're improving, then they're not gonna be then going to the doctor and getting a corticosteroid injection. And therefore, that means that they won't get the injection and they also won't have a knee replacement because they're actually better. Whereas the other side of the coin is that someone who's struggling to rehab because their arthritis levels are more severe, uh, or at least their symptoms from their arthritis is more severe, are more likely to struggle with the rehab, therefore go along and get the steroid injection. Because they were actually in worse condition, they are more likely to go on to need a total knee replacement. So the actual act of actually getting the steroid injection means that they were worse, which means being worse is the reason they went on to have a, have a total knee replacement, as opposed to the injection made them do that. Now, what I would say is overall, it's very likely that it's a bit of both. How much of both is unknown? It's probably likely that the injection does have some negative side effects and does increase the risk. But it's also true to say that people who actually are worse get an injection and because they're worse, they probably go on to a knee replacement. So it's a bit of both. So this doesn't mean don't get a steroid injection. Basically, if you can't rehab and you can't move and you can't get your strength up and you can't get your load tolerance up and you're struggling with function, then it may well be the right approach to get a corticosteroid injection to enable that. Because uh, it's far worse to lose all of them elements uh, than not. Um, but you have to weigh up all of these options. 
Certainly, you shouldn't just jump into a steroid injection without doing any rehab, without trying any conservative treatment. So, but it is an option. Um, but bear in mind, there is probably a risk in there, but maybe not as big as this maybe research kind of says. Anyway, that's it for this video and I'll see you next time.